Pardon me while I'm all sweaty because it's hot and sweaty in here and I just turned the air conditioner off. I'm gonna do this as fast as I can and get this done so I don't have to do this again. Hey, road trippers. So right now we are in the White Sands Missile Range area. If you look, watched my periscope, you probably saw me actually go live from here. So today we are going to talk about things you need to take on the road with you as a drive away driver. Number one thing you need to have is a smartphone because if you don't have a smartphone, well, you're pretty much kind of screwed on everything. And I'll have another video on the different apps that you want to have on the smartphone. And you also need to have a laptop. That's always handy. I'd show you my laptop, but you're actually sitting on it right now. Other things you need, you want to make sure you have some tools, just your generic screwdrivers and wrenches and black electric tape. You know, you never know what you might need because you never know how you're going to put on a license plate or if you need to tighten a screw on a motorhome. Oh, a handy thing to have is I like to have my battery charger. Uh, I've got an external battery charger. I take that with me. I've done a review on it before. It's really handy when you got to go on a flight or whatever and you gotta, you're got you not near a motorhome or not near a charging station. And it kind of helps you to keep your battery alive and all of your mobile equipment. This one's an older one and uh, I, I, I recommend you get a newer one with higher battery. This one's a 21,000 plus milliamp hour, but they've got, I think, double that now. I also like bringing out all of my accessories for charging things, like this great little anchor uh, USB to cigarette lighter, or well, DC, or whatever you want to call it. This thing has saved my butt so many times because I can plug five USB devices into this and charge them all at one time. And it's really kind of nice if you want to charge up your external battery, your cell phone, and then that brings us to my mobile Wi-Fi. I like to have Verizon's mobile Wi-Fi. This is um, this is the Novatel MiFi from Verizon and I love it. I've got the bigger package with the 18 gig and I use the 18 gig because I like to watch my YouTube stuff and I also upload sometimes with it. And yes it's 4G and if you've ever watched me do live streaming, my Periscope, I have used that and I also use my Sprint 4G. So it definitely helps when the Sprint is bad coverage, the Verizon will take over. And of course, on my laptop, I can always have Wi-Fi. You also wanna grab one of these dividers that'll divide your DC into three because not all motorhomes have more than one DC outlet. And this way, you can plug in pretty much anything you need. You can plug in that USB charger plus the other things that you can have, which brings me to the other things you can have. The other thing I have is my GPS. I like to have a GPS outside of my phone. I use my phone Google Maps as a backup and even Waze as a backup, but my Garmin, I use that number one. That's always my number one thing. And the other thing I bring is I've got a 400 watt Cobra inverter. That helps me charge up my laptop. It also helps me charge up my camera batteries because that's also AC. So it converts your AC or your DC to AC. You guys are enjoying these videos that are tip videos to drive away drivers. I am. I haven't done um, a review, and I, actually on the motorhome I'm in right now, I'm probably not going to do a review simply because I don't feel like it. It's a it's an okay video. It's or it's an okay motorhome. It's a Freedom Elite by Thor. It's small. It's 24 foot. Blah blah blah. It's okay. It's a gas Thor. You know how I feel about them. So that's it. That's all I've got. I love seeing your comments and I try to get back to you as much as possible. Let me know if there's a specific video you want to see. I do have a few lined up uh, that some people have asked for, like the difference between gas and diesel and blah, blah, blah. And there's uh, one other video I've got I'm going to be making soon. Um, and those are different ones I'm going to make. But if you have other ideas and some videos you would like to see, let me know because I want to give you guys what you want to see. I'm going to get going because I'm getting really hot and sweaty and that's kind of gross. And uh, on another note, I am going to be going on a diet and losing my fat ass because I'm sick and tired of being fat. Hopefully you will see me getting skinny again. If you want to see what I look like skinny, go back about two years in my videos and you'll see it, me skinny. Look in my China videos. I was doing really good then. I think I've gained about 40 or 50 pounds since then. I need to shed this weight. So maybe I'll do a vlog on that and maybe do a video update from my phone or something. If you guys are interested in that, I'll do it. Uh, let me know one way or the other. If you're not interested in it, fine. Tell me you're not interested, then I won't do them. And until next time, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and all that balonky and don't in my Facebook and shit, la 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 la. Safe travels!